process starting from making the appointment right through to billing for the appointment. So first of all, to create the appointment, searching for an existing patient here. If they were a new patient, you could create a new patient file from here. Just use Amanda test. Appointment notes, so these are any notes that the patient may have told you about um, any details of the appointment. Um, let's say broken tooth on the upper right hand side. Treatment type, you can select a treatment type um, that applies to this appointment if so. If it's an emergency, um, I can apply the emergency treatment type. Now these treatment types are set up under your management area of practica. Custom icons, if you wish to apply any of these custom icons to the appointment, again, these are set up under management, under appointments, custom icons. So you can apply up to four custom icons on an appointment at once. To deselect them, you'll just click them again. Patient response is um, either confirmed or if you've um, left a message with them to confirm their appointment, um, you can also mark them as arrived or in the surgery or FTA and cancelled from here as well. At this stage, I'll just leave it. Um, actually, I'll mark the patient response as confirmed because I'm making the appointment for today. When I'm happy with the appointment, I can press OK. That's created my appointment. On the left hand side, I get the provider colour. And then on the right hand side, I get my treatment type color. If I hover over the appointment, I get a little preview on the right hand side of the appointment details and the contact details for the patient. Down the very bottom of that preview on the right, I can see medical history last updated. I can see a date when uh, they last submitted their medical history form. Um, if they needed to fill in another one, I could either give them their medical history form or I can email it out to the patient before their appointment. So let's say the patient has now arrived at the clinic. I can right click on the bottom right of the appointment and I can change the patient status from here. I'm gonna mark them as arrived and that is gonna put them into my arrivals area on the left hand side up here. I can then, when it's time to go into the clinic, I can then mark them as in at the surgery. That means that they're in the treatment room. My arrivals tab over here changes, this blue one here changes. That's symbolizing I've got two patients in the treatment room at this point in time. Let's say we need to do some charting for the patient now. We go to the patient file and we can go to restorative chart. On my top chart, I can um, start some existing charting that's present in the patient's mouth at this point in time. Down the bottom, I can use this chart for my proposed treatment to start um, a treatment plan for the patient. I'll chart some existing things on the patient's teeth here. Let's chart some composite fillings. Um, if it's something relating to a whole tooth rather than tooth surface specific, I can click just outside of the tooth, click the blue box, and then I get options pop up down the bottom relating to a whole tooth rather than a tooth surface. So I can mark a tooth as implant. I can also mark teeth as primary or permanent from here as well by clicking the blue highlighted box outside of the tooth and press permanent or primary. When I've finished um, my chart to invoice for the appointment today, I can go back to the appointment. So I'll just show you back from the appointment screen. In here, up in this space here is area for me to put in my item numbers for the appointment today. If I press my plus, this will take me to the patient's treatment plan if they have an active treatment plan. If they don't, it will take you straight to this next screen, which I can get there by pressing the plus and search for my item numbers that I've done today. So I can either manually search for the item numbers, save, 
and then insert on the bottom right, that will insert the item number that I've just searched. Otherwise, if you are using treatment presets, you can use this add preset button here. I can select my preset that I've done today. Let's say I've done a new patient simple examination and insert. That's gonna insert all of those item numbers rather than me searching individually for each one. If there's something from there that I need to remove, I can click on it and press the minus button. If I need to change the cost of a particular item number for today, for this patient only, I can click on it and press edit and I can change my total fee down here. Let's say I wanna make this $50 for the patient instead of 71, save. Now to symbolize that I've put in all of my item numbers as a provider and I'm ready for the um, receptionist to take payment, I can complete the appointment down here. Completing the appointment puts a, a lock on the item numbers that you've entered. So no one can uh, make any changes here once it's been completed. If you need to make any changes, you'll need to uncomplete the appointment and then it allows you to make those changes again. Just complete that appointment again. Now I'm ready to take payment. I get this payments and adjustments screen pop up down here once I've completed the appointment. I can see the total of these item numbers adds up to $316 and there's $316 still remaining on this account because we haven't entered in any payment. To enter in a payment, if you're using HiCaps or Tyro and it's connected, you'll have these buttons enabled and you'll be able to press them. To enter in a manual payment, if your HiCaps or Tyro is not connected, I can press the plus here. I can enter in a payment type. However, the patient made the payment, they might have done a manual health fund claim and got $50 back. Add that in. Now my total owing for the account is $266. To add on the remaining FPOS payment, I can press the dollar, green dollar sign here. That's gonna input all of the appointment balance and add. Once I've got $0 down on the bottom right, that means the appointment has been paid. There's nothing for the patient to pay. Everything's been settled. Now to email or print out the receipt for the patient, you can press this tax invoice drop down here, print PDF or email PDF. Hope that helps.